Today, I'm going to share with y'all how to make a super hydrating body wash. I hope you can see the shimmer in this body wash. If you struggle with your skin feeling very dry after using a body wash or if you use just soap, this one will not. And also, too, I've included an ing a new-to-me ingredient in this body wash, and it just feels so good on the skin. So make sure you stick around so that you can see me use this new ingredient. I'll be making a 500 gram batch. And this is super simple to make. We're going to only have two faces. So that means you're only going to have two containers and a few little stirring utensils that you'll have to wash. We'll call this first phase the water phase. This is where we'll mix up the water and the xanthan gum because we need to get it to we need to get it to gel up for us. And when I mixed up the water and the xanthan gum on my little stir, it probably took about an hour to get it to hydrate. But you could use a hand mixer to get it to hydrate, and as long as it's smooth, then you're ready to move on to the next phase. So I'm going to give you the ingredient list and the measurements on it, but I'm going to give it to you as if you are making a 100 gram batch. If you wanted to make a 500 gram batch, all you would do is just multiply that by five. So I use 75.5% or 75.5 grams of distilled water. And I used one gram of xanthan gum soft. And I just sprinkled it over the water phase. And then I turned on my little magnetic stir. And I let it go for about an hour. But again, you could use your pan mixer. And you could just stir it with like just one of the beaters. And um, then once you see that it becomes clear and you don't see any more of the little specks in it, and you're ready to move on to the next phase. So to recap what's in this speaker right here, I have 1% xanthan gum and I have 75.5% distilled water. Now we're getting ready for the surfactant phase. So I'm using a surfactant blend that is really, really mild, and it consists of sodium cocoa ampho acetate glycerin laurel glucoside sodium cocoil glutamate and sodium laurel glucose carboxylate oh that was a mouthful but anyway um the name of it is planta pond sf if you're looking for it at our suppliers and i use 15 percent of the surfactant and if you're new to making your own DIY products, a surfactant, it's what causes the bubbles, which also cleanses the skin. So just think of a surfactant as something that's really, really bubbly and also helps wash away the dirt. Next, I added 2% glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant, so it draws moisture from the air and draws it to your skin. Then I used 2% of propanediol. It is also a humectant, which draws moisture from the air and draws it to your skin. This ingredient right here is water-soluble shea or they call it PEG-50 or SHA-50. And this ingredient, this is the first time that I have worked with this ingredient. And it helps when you use a surfactant. Um, sometimes it will wash away the natural oils. Well, this is something that will refat your skin. And it has the most beautiful skin feel. So... I have a feeling that I'm going to incorporate the Shape 50 into some more DIY products here shortly. But anyway, I was just really, really impressed with this ingredient. So um, I think it'll go, start going in all the body washes from here on out. I added 0.5% of chamomile extract. 
It's known for relieving redness, inflammation, and irritation. Now it's time to add our preservative, and I added 0.5%. I'm using Germabin as my preservative today. Next, we're going to add in the fragrance, and this looks like Bum Bum, but my understanding that it's actually pronounced Boom Boom. Um, this fragrance is awesome. I'm telling you what, if you have not smelled this fragrance, you definitely need to go over to Crafter's Choice and get some of this. Now it's time to add our water and xanthan gum mixture into the surfactant phase. And we have to start very, very slowly. Or this will create a lot of bubbles and a lot of foam. Sometimes it just never goes away. You just want to stir until it's incorporated fully. Next, I added one drop of water-soluble red coloring and mixed it in. And I also added some rose gold mica for that sparkly, shimmery effect. 